Thì khi mà đã phơi khô ừ. 3 thơm rồi bột nó đã khô rồi thành ra là nó chắc này không, không, không chua Ừ, không chua Ừ, thơm không? Đúc không? Bột Đúc không? Ừ. Còn đúc không? Cái này về, cái này về bắt đầu mình chế biến Không có đọc không? Đây là gạo This week, the staff of Yudam Chai will visit a village where rice is processed into starch and also turned to noodles. This historic village is known as Sadek and has a famous noodle dish that will watch Ha and her cooks turn into a vegetarian classic. Ha is a no-nonsense kind of woman, so why is she stopping to smell the flowers? Well, actually, she's not smelling these hibiscus flowers, she's picking the leaves. These leaves are the catalyst in the process of extracting pure starch from ground rice. They cause all the parts of the rice, besides starch, to sink to the bottom. <coughs> Ooh, that is not the consistency I thought. Then, after that, we'll do ăn được không? Sợi hủ tiếu. Ăn được chưa? Chưa ăn được. Chưa ăn được. Ooh, okay. Một đây là một. The starch is dried in the sun until it is the very fine powder that you see here. Add a little hot water and it can be reconstituted into a sticky paste that is used to cook many different Vietnamese foods. This small savory cake is filled with veggies and wrapped in a leaf for cooking. You'll often see foods made with rice starch wrapped in leaves, so the starch keeps its shape. Or it will be cooked on a hot surface, then rolled, like the dish you see here. Sadek is a very historic riverport city on the Mekong River. It's known for its many 19th century houses and being the setting of the French novel The Lover, or The Lover. Because the cultures of Vietnam, Cambodia, China, France, and even America have converged on this city, it has a rich culinary heritage and good food can be found on the streets at any time of the day or night. But we've only come looking for one the noodle called Hu Tio. Luckily, just up the river from the rice starch producer, we notice some Hu Tio drying in the sun. So, we know we're heading in the right direction. And then, pay dirt, a Hu Tio supplier. Not only a supplier, but a whole Hu Tio factory. <coughs> Em có viên mẫu lá hoa cẩm ở đây Ở trên Zalo có chứ Có chứ Có nghĩa là từ cái lá Lá, lá cầm, gì? Từ, từ lá, lá cầm Lá cầm Lá cầm Lá cầm à, Trông gần đây không? Ở ngoài vườn là họ sẽ có trồng cái lá đấy 
lá cầm cái lá cầm nó cho mình mình xay ra nấu mình mình nấu nó lên mình nấu nguyên lá lên xong rồi nó ra cái nước nó ra cái nước màu tím tím như thế này sau rồi là mình mình trộn với lại cái bột đúng không trộn với cái bột sau rồi nó mới cán ra cái này là mình không dùng hóa chất dùng từ màu lá thiên nhiên Today, the factory is producing only purple, my favorite color. But since Ha is a prudent restaurant owner, she gets one of every color available so that she can test them all and see which works best. Back at the restaurant, the cooks decide Hutio noodles would work best in a vegetarian Pad Thai dish instead of trying to replicate traditional hutio, which I definitely agree with since I absolutely love Thai food. And since Pad Thai relies on many plant-based flavors anyway, there are not many ingredients that need to be substituted for this to be a seriously delicious outcome. I learned a lot while making this episode. The starch segment forced me to brush up on my chemistry, and the city of Sadek is a history nerd's playground. But I think what I've learned most is a healthy respect for vegetarian cuisine. Even though I love vegetables, I've had an aversion to things labeled vegetarian, because so much of it relies on replacing meat, which for me is unacceptable. But Ha and her cooks have taken the art of cuisine to an expert level. They play the game on hard mode and build up a menu solely on the flavors available from plant sources without ever considering if it is like a meat-based dish. This is something far beyond my understanding of food and flavor, but just seeing that it is possible gives me a glimpse into a whole new world. And for that, I'm thankful.